Hey everybody, in today's video, does fiber cause rheumatoid arthritis? Well, according to the study, there's good reason to believe that it might. And I've been doing a bunch of videos on the dangers of fiber um, with the liver cancer induction. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll add those in the description box below if you wanna follow up on this topic and the one on constipation, how it causes constipation. So today we're going to tackle its relationship to rheumatoid arthritis. So this is the study published 2nd of November, 2022. So very recent. And um, the title, A High Fiber Diet Synergizes or Works with a Bacterial Strain that we have in our gut called Prevotella Copri, and it exacerbates rheumatoid arthritis. And so I'm just going to go over the important parts in the abstract. So what this study showed is that if you have early symptoms or established rheumatoid arthritis, you show disturbances in your gut bacteria. In other words, you have more of this bacterial strain, a lot more of this Prevotella copri. And so um, what they did is they showed how it actually leads to inflammation and exacerbation of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. Um, specifically, they showed how colonization of this bacteria together with a high fiber diet enabled the digestion of complex fibers. So this is the thing, the Prevotella Capri bacteria helps us digest fiber. So the more fiber you eat, the more you promote the growth of this bacterial strain in your gut, which then can lead to exacerbation of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. So um, when, when you have a lot of this P. Capri or colonization of this bacteria, plus you're eating a high fiber diet, which leads to even more of this bacteria, um, that's gonna allow you to digest this complex fiber that you normally wouldn't be able to digest. Um, but that also leads to overproduction of waste products like the organic acids like fumarate, succinate, and short chain fatty acids. Succinate is one of those waste products and it promotes pro-inflammatory responses in white blood cells called macrophages and um, they also did it with a mouse model of rheumatoid arthritis and uh, when they supplemented succinate to them it made their arthritis worse. The CIA model is the mouse model that they used. It's called uh, collagen-induced arthritis. They literally inject collagen type 2 in mice and they um, induce arthritis in them. And then they try to see how you can uh, make the symptoms worse. And it did get worse with, when they gave them succinate. So... This is really interesting. 75% of those with rheumatoid arthritis have this bacterial strain in their gut, Prevotella copri, compared to only 20% of those who don't have arthritis. And so the purpose of this bacterial strain is that it's trying to help you digest fiber because we naturally cannot digest fiber. And so when you eat food, you can't digest. You're going to need all the help that you can get. And so this bacteria now all of a sudden has all of this food source that it can work on. And so it starts helping us digest the fiber, but that also means it's going to overgrow in, in its population. And when it overgrows and overpopulates your gut, this is when the issues begin. Specifically, proteins from that bacteria, specifically the name of that protein is called P27. It's been detected in the blood of those with the rheumatoid arthritis and even those who are just starting to have symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. And so what happens is that now you have this bacteria, this protein, P27 protein in your blood and your immune system starts to react against it. And so you start creating antibodies against this protein. Um, and the, in fact, they did see antibodies to the P27 protein in those with early and advanced stages of rheumatoid arthritis. And I found this to be so funny. Um, there was a, an article with uh, Medical News Today reporting on the study. I've also linked it in the description box below. And in it, they... Uh, they <laughs> published the opinion of this doctor, Dr. Brett Smith. He's a rheumatologist, rheumatologist with Tennessee Direct Rheumatology and East Tennessee Children's Hospital, both in Knoxville. Okay, he wasn't involved in the research, but his comment on the results of this research was, despite very clearly seeing how fiber made rheumatoid arthritis worse, this is what he says, and I quote, 
I personally think a diet rich in vegetables, <laughs> fruits, fiber, and unsaturated fats, nuts, for example, is the most potent diet to reduce inflammatory cascades. Yeah, exactly. That's your personal opinion, because clearly the science does not support that. And this is what happens when you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail when you're so brainwashed in one line of thinking and everything else is almost taboo to think about. This is the kind of advice you get from those very um, highly ranked um, experts. It's, it's shocking. Anyway, this is my Instagram. If you want to connect my website, drsarahzaldivar.com with my coaching packages. And um, th those are the references, which will also be linked in the description box below. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And write a comment, share your opinions. Have you had a personal experience with rheumatoid arthritis? I hear a lot of success stories on a carnivore diet, so I would love to hear your opinion on that. Um, and yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell icon, and um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.